So, Dune. Everyone saw Dune. You saw Dune? I saw it, but that's not how you first pronounce it. June. You, you pronounce it June. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, June. Everyone saw June. But you are pronouncing it wrong now. June. Dune. Dune? Dune? Not June. Is it Dune or June? Dune. Dune. Okay, I thought it was like June. Sand dune. Like a sand dune. Okay. Is that offensive to Jews? June. June. I'm just, I, I, I don't know. It's That's offensive. not offensive to Jews, but that question was. <laughs> Why? Why would they I'm be just... offended by it? Are you saying they're offended by everything? Are you no, saying they're going to sue? It's just, it seems like a loaded term that you can barely, it's like, June is almost becoming like the N-word. ADL, okay, I can't speak for this guy. All I can say is that I completely support Israel 100%. Now let's get back to the Sorry. movie about people being killed in the desert. Not related at all. Sorry, it could be, it could be about Jews. <laughs> I don't know what it's about. I don't know. The movie's about space people. I thought it was about. No, you said people being killed in the desert. It's about space Saudis, right? Versus space Masons. Okay, that's what this movie's about. Made by Jews. Jews and Masons. Uh, yeah. So Dune is about uh, a desert planet called Arrakis, where there is a resource that. Uh, Arrakis. Yes, a kissing Iraq. Iraq is. Iraq is the most valuable part of the universe. Iraq is a woman's. Yes, Iraq is is the most valuable thing in the universe. In the universe. <laughs> and it has two big moons. It has two big moons. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. Yeah. Although it's really dry and sandy. <laughs> All right. It has worms too. Oh. <laughs> Dune is about, uh, basically it's the Middle East conflict, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it's also about hallucinogenic drugs. Yeah, uh, yeah, so it's got Dwayne the Rock, no, not Dwayne the Rock, Batista. Batista. Uh, Dwayne the Rock, jo no, Jason Momoa, my bad again. Who's the guy who plays the big fat guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Skarsgård. He's he yeah. like, um, a professor, what's his face in the Marvel universe? Yeah, yeah, something Skarsgård is his name. The Baron is actually the uh, grandfather of the main character. Okay. Yes, because you know the the woman that's the mother of the main character. Yeah, that's his daughter. What really? Yes, because you know how I said that the guy, the Baron, had unrequested relations with. A psychic priestess lady. That psychic priestess lady was the one who said, "Put your hand to the box." Yeah. I'm glad there was actually a box next to it when she said that. <laughs> oh, that's the thing, you know, I saw the trailer for Dune months ago and I knew that I'd do a low effort review on the movie one day. So what I've been doing is I've been bulking up to look exactly like the Baron from Dune. I'm halfway there. Just need to shave all the hair off my body and, I don't know, bathe in chocolate yogurt. You haven't got to that part yet, Nathan? No, I haven't. No, well, you'll get the... <laughs> Shad, you saw that part, didn't you? Uh, yes. When he comes out of the goo like an urukai emerging from the dirt. Uh, it was pretty gross. It was pretty gross, wasn't it? He's a gross character. But by the way, he's not fat because he ate too much. He's fat because he had unconsensual relations with a psychic woman who gave him that disease. So... Really? Is that canon? That's canon. I don't think... That's right, canon. I need to double check that. Shut, it's like, I've done some research on something that you like, I haven't done any research on this, and then I say it and you're like, no, that doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right. Sounds wrong. It's literally canon. Okay. It's canon. Oh, man. So... Do you, do you see this, Nathan? <laughs> we could go Alex Jones mode if you want. All right, all right. People, there is a conspiracy. You see, the elites don't want you to know this, but DMT opens a portal to another dimension. You can speak to the demons there. And that's what this movie's about, people. The spice. The spice is a psychoactive compound allows you to see the demons and navigate through space. It's all a conspiracy, people. Well, it wouldn't be a conspiracy in the universe, because that's actually pretty true. Yeah. Like, he gets visions from it, and they use it to navigate through space. Now, you see, you say it's true in that universe, mm -hmm. but everything that I just said is on the internet. 
You can go and find it yourself if you want. I was referring to Spice, not DMT. Yeah, I was referring to both. But yeah, it's out there, people. The truth, <clears throat> the truth is out there. I won't let Alex Jones take <laughs> control again. You to, like, hold him back from... Yeah. <laughs> the Where movie... Where does Spice come from? The Spice is... There's no need... There's, like... Is it just... It's we like it's, it's just worm. Sand. It's worm poo. That's like the only living thing in Iraq, apart from the humans. Oh, there's some. It comes from oh, the worms. There's the the little rodents we saw. It's rodents. it's worm poo. You recognize worm? Poo? No, it, it actually is. It it's excreted from the worms. Is it? Yes. Why would I lie? It is. It's like you. I have done my research, Shad. <laughs> I've done 15 minutes of watching a screen rant. Everything you need to know about <laughs> Dune. Okay. Yeah. So um. Psychic ladies was awesome. Women really do know how to get into your head. Has been the case I found. There was the knife you fights. Want to comment on the ships. Yeah, the yeah. ships looked hideous. Just random geometry. But what do they look like, Oz, to you? What, what, do, what do you see when you see those floating ships? Well, you know the the big ship that was in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. That looked like a big. It's a big cylindrical shape with a little opening at the front. And it's white, and it's it in the sky. It little opening. Yeah, the, the opening was as big as a cylinder. Well, first it looked like a tiger shark. And then uh, Freud kicked in and I saw a penis, okay? They had a thing for worshipping pine trees. Yeah, they wasted the water of a hundred men a day for pine trees. That is the most California thing I've ever heard. Because <laughs> that actually happens. In California, all the rich people just have these Massive lawns. And they also had homeless people in it as well. Yeah. Oh, terrific. <laughs> All, it's an allegory of California. It's literally, Arrakis is California. Even has the same free-floating drug pollution in the air. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to keep spoilers out of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, there's worms in this movie. That's all we can say. <laughs> <laughs> worms and sand people. Not the kind of sand people we've seen in other productions where they like blow up buildings. <laughs> I was, I was meant to say sand people from Star Wars, but I twisted it around to 9-11. Well, you didn't. You said blow up buildings. Did the sand people do that in Star Wars? But 9-11 wasn't blown up. A plane flew into the side yeah, of the building. It's not planting a bomb and exploding. I didn't say they did that. I said they blew it up. That's not blowing up. That's crashing, crushing, crashing. What did the jet fuel do when it ignited, Shad? Started a fire. They burned it to the ground. It exploded. You, I have seen the video many times, okay? The building just explodes. No, it doesn't. The building catches fire and then collapses. People down in the comments, did the building just catch fire when the plane struck it and just lightly burned or to the did ground? the entire building blow up instantly when the plane That's did. not what I said. That's not what you're implying. That's not what I said. You're implying it burned down like a birthday candle, okay? No, I'm, I'm saying it, a, a plane just boom! It blew it up. It's not the Death it's Star. Like, it's like a plane shot a laser and blew. <laughs> <laughs> we keep coming back to 9-11. It's almost like it's the defining thing of this generation. Yeah. The outfits, clothing. Yeah, they all wore gimp suits. What's a gimp suit? Uh, Nathan, you've had conversations with Ben Artel, chat. <laughs> the suit you can pee in. Is that, you can pee in that suit? Oh, yeah. I'm guessing so. And it actually fil filters your water, your sweat, and your pee, yeah, so you can re-drink it. You won't have to drink it straight, you can filter it through. That's oh, like man. That's perfect suit for you. Yeah. Screw drinking pee. Yeah, um, I just bare grills it, man. Don't need my pee filtered. Lose all the flavor. <laughs> Ignore that. <coughs> now uh, that one's going in. Oh, crap. <laughs> when he was in the tent, and there was the spice in the air and he had what I'd call a bad trip. His bad trip, his idea of a bad trip is he meets a beautiful girl, he gets psychic superpowers, he conquers evil and returns to his planet as the messiah of a bunch of people. Yeah, what a bad trip. I'd be pissed too. Well, that's what he, that's the vision he saw. That's it? the vision he saw, yeah. Dude, if I saw something like that, I'd do everything to attain it. That sounds based. I want to go on a conquest. So the blue eye, like, when you get blue eyes, does that actually do anything? Yes, it means you're better than other people. Guy wrote a book about it a while back. <laughs> a company with blonde hair. Oh, man. <laughs> Chad just got it. What about that guy that does the math in his head? Mm, that guy surprisingly wasn't Asian. 
That was the most <laughs> unbelievable part of the whole movie. My drink from yesterday. He's still drinking it. Um. You can't you stop me. <laughs> gives you some reflexes. So the city, anything we can comment on the city? Uh, yeah. It looked really flat. It didn't have any. Yeah, there was nothing. That's what I'm saying, man. There's nothing there. There was stuff. Although to be fair, to be fair, if any planet was to have a really flat city, it'd be Heracus because of all the uh, wind mm. and sand. And because they're like sand people planet, if they had tall buildings. <laughs> Why do we keep coming back to that? To 9-11? Mm. Because I've been Oz. Do you want to sign us off? No, you... you I've been Oz. And, um... You guys are, you know, really vocal about my weight. <laughs> Thanks.